Hallelujah, hallelujah. God bless everyone out there. It is well with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, this is the season, the celebration in the atmosphere because God has a plan. You know the word of God is say, I know the plan that I have for you. It's of good, not of evil, to give you a hope and a future. That plan that God has is what we have come to talk about. Praise God. As we are looking forward to this uh, upcoming three days conference, deliverance and healing conference, that is themed moving up. God has promised to move us to the next level. We are moving up to the mountain top and the Lord said year 2020-22 is going to be year of mountain top experience Amen. so it's going to be glorious Hallelujah. so to the glory of God I have with me here one of the ministers that was ministered during this conference we want to know what is God saying at this hour what is it that God has in plan for us that this season? Praise God. So, man of God, so I have with me Pastor Shola Adedokun. Can you tell us, man of God, during this conference, what topic will you be uh, ministering on? God bless you, man of God. God bless you. Yeah, to the glory of God, we will be discussing and we'll be praying on the topic healing in the name of Jesus. Wow, wow, healing in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, in the name of Jesus, every nail shall bow. Amen. Including illness, including sickness, including infirmity. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay, can you tell us a little bit of what people should be expecting during, I believe, uh, your session is going to be like two hours, right? Yes, sir. Okay, during that period of two hours, what should people be expecting? And what type of people do you think that session is for? Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. This session is for everybody. Amen. The topic, when we talk about healing, health itself is a big area. And when we talk about healing in Jesus' name, mm. we, are, we, are, we, are, we are dealing with a very important aspect of human life. Because mm. when the health is not good, mm. when one is not in good health, one is not able to function properly. Mm. One is not able to achieve what God has designed us to achieve. Mm. This mm. impedes people's growth. Mm. So healing is very important. And we are so glad because... Jehovah Rapha, he himself will be in our midst. Hallelujah. And he is going to be our healer. Hallelujah. And one other thing, people, that I want you to know, because this is very interesting, and the man of God that was speaking on healing is a medical doctor. So when we are, we now we are talking about uh, the medical aspect of it and the spiritual aspect of it, he knows both sides. And is now telling you that everyone needs healing. You need that divine healing. So whatever is going on in your body, whatever it is, it is time for you to come. Bring it to the Lord because God can do it. He can heal you and he will heal you. Praise God. Hallelujah. When someone is sick in the body, mm -hmm. how do we know if this is of the devil? Or if, or, okay, let me, let me rephrase the question. Someone that's been bound mm -hmm. by sickness, mm -hmm. what do they need to do to be set free? Yeah. See, one thing we do, we should know, is that when we talk about healing, it's mm. not just the physical, bodily healing. Mm. Yeah, Jesus, when he was on earth, mm. he performed several miracles mm. that mm. touches healing of the body. Mm. But let us talk, uh, take our attention, especially to the woman with the issue of blood. Mm. The Bible records that this woman has visited many physicians, mm. yet she was not healed mm. until the day that she had an encounter with Jesus himself. Mm. That was when she was delivered of her physical illness. Mm. So the same thing, we should be ready to have an encounter with Christ himself. Mm. Mm. Now, another aspect is also emotional healing. Mm. We're talking about spiritual healing. Mm. If you are not in, if you are not a child of God, mm. if you don't have a relationship with him, you need spiritual healing. Mm. Because mm. bodily healing is just for this heart. 
Mm. What would take what what we what you need even after leaving this earth is that you are in good terms, you are in mm. good relationship with God, mm. the Father, so that you can continue to experience that relationship mm. with Him even mm. in heaven. So healing is just not bodily healing. Mm. It's very important we are eating our body, wow. but also spiritual healing, emotional healing. Mm. Marriages today, some need healing. Wow. Your relationship today need healing. Wow. Uh, uh, so the healing is not just physical. That's one thing I want us to know. So that's why I say it is for everybody. Wow. Even if you're experiencing good health in your body, what the other aspect? How about other? Wow. Where are you? And even if you, when you, when you, you know, the one thing the Bible says about the devil, he says, the, uh, the, 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 the devil comes but to, but to, to, to steal, steal to, kill, to kill, and, and to, to destroy. destroy. So. Even if you are enjoying good physical health right now, don't forget the devil is looking around, mm. trying to steal, mm. to kill, mm. and to destroy. Mm. So for you to continue to enjoy that physical health that you enjoy right now, mm. you still need to pray. Mm. And God himself is going to be the one to do the healing. Not human being, mm. but God himself. So Amen. I want you to come. I want you to be expectant. I want you to be ready to pray together mm. as children of God come together in this conference to pray to our God so that mm. we can experience perfect healing. Hallelujah. God bless you, man of God. What Thank I want you. to tell you, everyone that is watching right now, it is time to make a decision. You know what is going on in your body. That is the work of the devil. You need to bring it to Jesus because uh, these last three days of the year, on the 29th, 30th, and 31st, all roads lead to Morrow, Georgia. So what you need to do right now, right now, is look under this video. You will see the link. Click on that link where you can get your ticket. Get your ticket. The good news is the ticket is free. Jesus paid on the cross. So get your ticket to make sure you reserve a seat because space is limited. Space is limited. And what God has in store for you is for you. Don't miss it for anything. Don't let the devil hinder you or stop you. It is well within in Jesus. And we look forward to seeing you at this conference. We are moving up and the will of God will be done in the name of Jesus. God bless you, man of God. God it's really good to have you with me. And we are looking forward to it. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be glorious. It's going to be a wonderful fellowship. Amen. Amen. God bless you God and bless, bless you indeed. God bless everyone out there. It is well with you. I look forward to seeing you soon. Amen.